welcome as today is a beautiful sunny day uh, fresh air i decided to make this video outside just in the terrace and uh, well today we are going to look back to our second round of the Vayner car championship and of course having a refreshing coffee meanwhile it's my day off it's more of a relaxing day just a bit of work so no judging or drinking some coffee anyways we start with the qualifying well, the qualifying was very simple, I was just trying not to push too much on the tires, I got a quick lap in, and as always, the qualifying was not special, I finished in the third place, which was the starting position for the first two heats. So, now let's get into the first heat. So, right from the morning we had a very sunny day, very nice warm weather, as you can see, I'm starting third, even though you, you could think that I'm starting more towards the back of the grid. Well, for those who don't know, we actually start together with the, the junior class. That means around half of the cars from the whole grid are actually not my main competitors. Anyways, so as we lined up for the start, the start was pretty okay. I mean, I didn't lose anything. Uh, was actually mainly just focusing on trying to get through uh, the first corner just like that you can see there was a crash just in front of me there we go the junior spun and we had to just go somehow around it but that went pretty well don't be crashes from my class we were basically just going back and forth always together the top four and yeah, for a couple of hours we were just fighting and we were also sticking with the faster junior cards. And as you can see, lap after lap, we are just bumper to bumper, no place, I really to make a move. Eventually I did try to make a move for the third place because I accidentally lost it. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I actually got squeezed very very hard into the barriers now I needed to keep my fourth place but eventually I got the third place and basically we finished where we started so pretty normal first hit now in the second hit uh, as you can see we were trying to hit our tires as much as possible because it's a very short track and we always want to clean up all the rubbish from the tires because otherwise you're just not gonna have any grip so we line up for the second start again starting for the third position and away we go and that was actually a fantastic start for me as I straight away got into the first place and I was actually trying to make a move on a couple of junior cards here yeah, looking back to both sides making sure that no one is trying to make a move, got one junior behind me, so that's really safe for trying to defend my position. And basically from that moment was just pushing on, trying to get the toe. But as they are fighting, they were constantly going closer back towards me and that's, that was actually really not helping my race. As you can see, I need to make different lines to actually dodge them. And that's not very comfortable as you're trying to lead your own class, but you're also trying not to collide with the others. Uh, eventually they did uh, go away, but then my main rivals started to somehow catch up. One even tried to make a move, but we're not gonna let to do that. It's our race. And from that on, we were just keeping our pace up, trying very similarly, as you can see, using the DRS of karting to get as much pace as possible. Until the end, it was keeping concentration high, keeping focus, no mistakes. There was also a crash of juniors, just like I mentioned, trying not to crash out myself. Uh, there were actually three cars involved in the crash, I just needed to dodge them. So that's why I have no toe in front of me. How nice, no extra speed. But eventually we did finish uh, in the first place and that meant with third and first place I had enough points to start in first place in the final. How nice. Coffee break. 
refresh and just like always before our final torrential rain came again what a surprise so basically all the chassis needed to be changed as you can see we're also dressed up all for the rain and here i am lining up for the first position of the Greeks masterclass and yeah even though it rained quite heavily you can see that the track started to dry a bit so as you can see a lot of uh, as you see a lot of steam coming from the track and basically again it was just surviving the start not getting involved in any crashes and yeah saying that i did make a free wide move so coming into the first corner again trying to overtake some juniors there was a spin i think but everything okay for us yeah there's a, the junior that spun and somehow after just a few corners, I ended up in the third place overall, fighting the juniors. Yep, here I am in the second place even, going down the inside, very different lines from everyone, as that's what we actually get with our class that we don't have red tires, we drive on slicks all the time, so here you can see many, many different lines, how everyone is trying to find the grip, find the best acceleration, turn in. And just like that, I'm not only in the first place in my class, I'm third overall. <laughs> yeah, having a couple of juniors between me and second place of my class. And you know, I tried staying calm and all of that, trying not to get involved again in any crashes. But later on I saw that I have quite some pace and, the jun and some juniors are actually... They're actually in my way. So I decided, well... Because it's so wet and dangerous and slippy everywhere, why not not make a move on the junior and run away? How smart. So basically, getting a better run out of the first corner, down the inside, very slippy on the way, but there we go, we get second place overall. We already take the junior, and from then on it was just keeping up the pace and not slowing down. Not crashing, obviously. That's always the main goal. From then on, I'm trying to just keep my place. I was chasing at first, even the first place of junior. So I imagine <laughs> I nearly tried to win everything that day. But after a couple of laps and trying to overtake him, I noticed that he doesn't see that I'm actually not his competitor. Actually, he said after the race that he was thinking that he was fighting his main competitor. So I realized that and decided, yep, yeah, that's where, where we draw the line. That's where we need to get back a little bit, still get the toe. Uh, yeah, here we try to go side by side, but on the inside it was very bad, so I needed to do break up. So after trying a couple of moves, I decided that it's better to like get back a bit, keep a safe distance, not to get any surprises, just keeping out the pace, getting the toe, so I'll have more speed on the straight, and if we keep up that, everything will be fine. We did cut off with two back markers, but as I knew it was the last lap, I decided not to do anything silly, and eventually with that, I just took the first win of 2024. So that day was just perfect redemption for the first round, as we remember how that ended. Anyways, we actually had to line up after the race in front of the boards like they do it in Formula 1. Uh, we took of course some pictures, very happy, very good day. Actually we did have some interviews after that, so let's listen what I had to say. <laughs> Klasės, kurį mes jums virtuvėjome pokalbį turime ir dar kartą. Tai pirmą vietą. Na taip. Kaip jausmas? Puikus, kaip visada. Aš mačiau, kad prieės prie manęs pirmojo dienos dalyje. Nuotaikos geros, nes tokio ir panašu tau gerą nuotaiką atvedėti tave iki pirmosios vietų. Tai aišku, kam čia liudėti va, iš pradžių saudyti, dabar lietutį šiek tiek pasivinksminam, driftot nedaug. Viskas puikiai. Linkime tau sėkmės, pasimatysime trečiajame Lietuvos as you maybe noticed, I like doing the number one sign. 
wonderful day. Oh, a lot of fighting, a lot of changing the chassis for the rainy conditions, but in the end, the result is amazing. So in this round, we definitely gained a lot of points. And with that, the championship fight is on. I'll see you next time.